Welcome back, Pudlings. Well, as you can see, today is the only warm day in the UK for this year. Or should I say up north for this year? <laughs> it's a scorching 18 degrees Celsius. <laughs> so I thought I'd go through my top tips how to ride your motorbike in the summer. Let's get into it. Bosh. So yeah, as I said guys, you can see it's a lovely day today and living in the north of England, it's the only lovely day we will have this year. <laughs> so my tips and tricks for the English are only valid for one singular day in a calendar year. Now, of course I am messing. <laughs> Those in the south of England will definitely get more good days than us up, up north though, so it's not known for being unseasonably clement <laughs> but for our American brethren in a lot of places of America or our Middle Eastern brethren Australian brethren some parts of European brethren you name it it's gonna get hot as shit hot as shit so I'm gonna get right into it all right right into it oh god the greens the blues they're out today oh here we go the brethren you Bitch! <laughs> Why do I not get nods anymore? <laughs> For God's sake! <laughs> anyway, let's crack on. My first tip, no matter how hot it gets, the minimum requirement for wearing gear is what? Full gear. Just wear full gear, man. You'll have seen some dodgy pictures about the effects on fall falling off of a motorbike without gear. I mean, road rash alone is just... Ugh, it just makes you cringe. <laughs> So that simple fact alone is, I would just say, gear up, yeah, honestly. To stay cool, if you don't put a jacket on and you come off, you're gonna know about it, dude. Or do debt. So I'd always recommend minimum your boots, your jacket, your gloves, and your helmet. And when I say helmet, I'll always be an advocate of a full face helmet. Like, I, uh, it makes me cringe when you see like the Harley riders and stuff with just like, I don't know what kind of helmets you call them, but it's sort of like an open face helmet, isn't it? It's gonna have to be a bit of hot weather filterage. Oh, maybe I can treat myself to that hill. I'm gonna treat myself to this hill. Up the cobbles. Whee, this is much steeper than it looks. <laughs> yeah, cause if you come off your bike and you've got an open face helmet on just to stay cool and then you end up smashing your face, you're not gonna be a happy bunny. You might be a dead bunny, actually. You might be in a rabbit stew later on if you're that dead of a bunny. Sorry, vegans. So, I know that there is issues with obviously, especially if you're riding in, say, like 40 degrees heat. And for you Americans, that's 40 degrees Celsius. Not Fahrenheit, because you guys would be like, oh my God, it's 120 outside. And over here, we're like, Jesus, it's like the sun. But I'm talking Celsius. Silsy ass, sexy ass, sexiest. So I know, especially if you if you're riding in places that get that hot, the temptation to not wear full gear is probably outrageous. I mean, today it's only like 20 degrees here, I think max. But if you're riding in places like 40 degrees, I know it's going to be super uncomfortable. But fortunately, there is a way to get around that because then that leads me on to the second tip. Just buy summer riding gear. Just buy some summer riding gear. I think I've got summer gloves anyway. They've, they've got like air vents in the top of them. Just allows for your hands to stay super cool. I should probably upgrade them for winter riding because it means my hands get freezing in the winter and I know not everyone can afford, you know, all sorts, but I'd always say get summer riding gear and then just layer up, because you've still got the protection if you've got some riding gear, but then if you just chuck a hoodie on underneath it or something, or over the top of it, you know, either way it works, just to keep that heat in for summer, for winter, just do that. But this is a summer riding video, Adam, not a winter riding video, oh God, waffling pudding. So, I got most of my gear from JNS Accessories, I've mentioned it before, but if you just go on their website or a similar website, and you can see the amount of summer riding gear there is, you know, mesh shirts, mesh pants, gloves, the more expensive helmets are better ventilated, 
mine's not cracking for ventilation really so um, I've got to do the old flick the visor up every now and then hey up lad lovely little scooter scooter brethren yeah I've got to do the old visor flick when you get to lights you see I just can't keep it up for very long because I've got a mic and I'm trying to motor vlog so the wind abuses me anyway back down yeah so just have a nosy you can definitely pick some up for pretty decent money you can get some really cool looking summer stuff oh, ninja 650 over there nice the milk truck in front of me is leaking milk I can see it on the left it's juicing milk everywhere sort your milk juicing out so make sure you wear the gear we've been over that okay you know that you've got the options to buy summer gear so that that is going to cool you down a little bit because quite often on riding gear the top summer riding gear the top you're going to have the proper abrasion resistant material but then on the underside on summer riding gear a lot of times it's just mesh because they know that you're not going to be um, falling very often onto that point you f I knew that was going to happen thankfully I anticipated it silly woman so they know you're more predominantly going to land on your shoulders your elbows so the inner side linings of the jacket can be mesh and also they can have little mesh compartments so summer riding gear has definitely improved a lot and there is a lot of options for you but there's no taking away from the fact you're still going to get hot you're still going to ride past people in shorts and t-shirts exhibit a there we go see and you're going to be hotter than them you really are but just wear the gear get some summer riding gear wear the gear don't go out in a t-shirt like a dick well to be fair do what you want actually if you want to do that but you just know you're running the risk don't you and I mean if you're okay with the risks I might not agree with you but risk it whatever for sake of a bit of heat <laughs> try not to get passive aggressive anyway what's my third tip now this one is dead easy costs no money well not really I mean you probably do have underlying costs that, <laughs> but anyway stay motherfucking hydrated that's right just drink water drink more water than you usually would not so much that you drown yourself internally because that's not good for anyone but drink enough water so that you stay hydrated throughout the day because your body is very good at regulating its temperature and water is the best thing for your body I, I, I love water I know it's, it's probably a bit boring but I love water so if you're going out riding in this kind of heat stick a backpack on stick a couple of litres of water in there and especially if you're going riding for a full day out in heat you need plenty plenty and in order to make sure you're hydrated it leads me on to the final tip of riding in hot weather if you're riding what do you need to do to make sure you're drinking water have a break yeah my little puddlings just have a break you're gonna feel it I you know. and the heat's gonna get to you and especially if it gets to the point you start getting headache or you start feeling faint just stop the bike stop the bike get off have a good old glug of water glug 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 and have a bit of a break have a breather and then you'll be energized to get back on I have seen someone say don't go into somewhere with like aircon because your body will have to reacclimatize. but I mean I won't go that deep into it I just say jump off take your jacket off have a break have a breather drink some water and then you're fine and dandy in five ten minutes to go again just don't let yourself pass out on the bike because that's just horrendous and I'll call you a moron like that milk truck <laughs> I don't know why that's any <laughs> got anything to do with it now here's one tip I have seen but I just I, I can't follow it apparently it is a thing but I just can't and it's avoid caffeine don't drink coffee now I don't really know the benefits of it because I didn't look into it any deeper because at the end of the day I ride a lot to commute and I fucking love a coffee you know what I mean are you telling me if you go out on a on a nice long day riding and there's a lovely cafe you've already got your water so you don't need to buy one of those everyone's getting a lovely coffee and you go no thanks 
trying to regulate my temperature today. Oh wow, you're fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I will be politely ignoring the caffeine one. If you want to follow it, I've put it in the video. But just go grab a Costa, do it. So what have we covered then? Let's do a conclusion. One, make sure you wear all the gear. Two, yeah, you're still gonna be hot wearing all the gear, so make sure you just get some summer riding gear. Three, drink your bloody water, mate, because your water's gonna cool you right down. Four, take a break, man. Take a bloody break. I'm just gonna keep saying bloody now. Take a bloody break, waddy. Because no one's giving you medals for powering through. Yeah, yeah, but I did it in one journey, me. You did it in two with a break. Yeah, you little wimp. I did it in one. No one cares, mate. No one cares. How many times did you pass out and drop your bike? Yes, I don't care. <laughs> Alright, Boris. And number five, I'm not listening to this, but apparently avoid caffeine if you want. But I won't bother. I know Northwest Biker Walk loves a Costa. <laughs> he bloody loves a Costa. But as with everything bike related, whatever you do, just stay bloody safe. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> right, now that you've cooled off, I'm gonna go cool off. Maybe have a beer. Oh, shaky. Peace. Sun's out, gun's out.